Greetings and happy holidays. This week, due to the increased cases and continuation of the pandemic conditions, Governor Brown released Oregon's Risk and Protection Framework, which uses four different risk levels for counties based on their level of COVID-19 spread. For Clackamas County, we are currently classified as extreme risk, which is the highest level. The Oregon Health Authority will re-examine the county data every two weeks to determine which counties qualify for each risk, risk level following the end of the two-week freeze. On a positive note, we are now decoupled from Multnomah and Washington County, so we stand on our merits alone. However, as stated by the governor, the virus is still very dangerous and still poses a huge threat. Please follow the CDC guidelines, wear a mask, wash your hands, and keep a safe distance from others. By following these safety measures, we have the best chances of keeping each other healthy and our businesses open. We encourage you to visit the city's website at www.ci.gladstone.or.us to understand what the specific restrictions are that correlate with the extreme risk classification. The fire department has been successful so far in maintaining PPE needs to support the emergency response, but that is being strained due to the increase in cases and the supply chain delays. Again, please follow COVID-19 prevention guidelines. This will also help support our emergency responders and our healthcare system. Do you need assistance staying connected while social distancing? Good news, Clackamas County Social Services is partnering with Access Technology Inc. to provide computers or tablets to lower income older adults living in Clackamas County. The program will assist with purchasing, setting up and maintaining the equipment for up to 12 months. Additionally, the program will provide training and technical support to the participant and may be able to assist with the costs of cellular and internet services. For more information on eligibility requirements, please contact Access Technology Inc. at 503-361-1201 or 1-800-677-7512. And the services are available in all languages. With our new reality continuing, there's some light to be found. And that's in all of the holiday displays that are found around town. I don't remember ever seeing so many and so soon. With all the doom and gloom, this simple thing brings so much joy. The fire department Christmas and holiday donation program is underway and more people are in need now than ever due to the pandemic conditions. If you are able, please donate any new unwrapped toy or gifts for all ages, gift cards or canned and pre-packed food to any donation barrel located at the fire station, the senior center, and at the new civic center by Monday, December 14th. The police department wants to remind everyone not to let the Grinch spoil Christmas. The Santa squad has been activated and the police department is offering a safe place to have packages delivered during the holiday season. If a family member or neighbor is unable to collect the package for you, we are offering for the month of December only to have your packages delivered to the police department. Please email Santa's elf, Kathy, at ckerrigan at gladstoneoregon.us. That's C-K-E-R-R-I-G-A-N at gladstoneoregon.us with your name and phone number where you can be reached once your package has arrived. Packages may be delivered at 18505 Portland Avenue, Gladstone at 97027. Address it to Santa Squad, GPD, care of your name, so we know who to call for pickup. If you have special circumstances, let us know and we will deliver your package to your home after, after it's dropped off. The Gladstone Police Department hopes everyone has a safe and happy holiday season. The Gladstone Public's Work Department would like to remind property owners that it is time to start winterizing your homes for winter weather. The Public Works Department will be using our de-icing equipment as our first line of defense against the icy roadways. If weather patterns bring heavier snow and ice, 
we will follow our hazardous weather response plan and close streets that are problematic. You can familiarize yourself with our weather response streets closure map by visiting our city website, which is under the public works section. You click the GIS map link and look under the transportation tab. As always, if you have questions, please feel free to contact the Public Works Office at 503-565-7957. Regarding the food pantry, it will be moving to the Hillside Christian Fellowship Church Portables off Glen Echo during the month of December. This will give us a safer location, better traffic flow, easier access for everybody, and more space. Because of the new COVID restrictions, this actually couldn't have worked out better. We were able to provide a drive-up food delivery the week before Thanksgiving, serving almost 260 families. And we're trying to find a way to do another one before Christmas. So please stay tuned to our social media announcements. Even though we are unable to provide regular drive-up boxes at this time, we are still serving over 100 local families that are under COVID quarantine. We're also supporting the GCCF program and our homebound seniors. If you need food, please contact the Gladstone Food Pantry, Northwest Family Services, the Gladstone Senior Center, or myself. There are a lot of programs available and we would love to provide you with the resource information. We are always taking donations and are in desperate need of volunteers. So if you have anything to give, food, money, or time, please reach out. It's the time of year that always seems to bring out the best in people, and I hope the challenges of 2020 hasn't changed that. Please reach out to those you love, the friends that matter so much more now than ever, and the neighbors that you may not see as often as you did before. Make sure they're okay, and if they are in need, please let us know. Have a wonderful day, a happy holiday, and an amazing new year. Please be kind, be safe, and be well. Thank you.